Venezuela is in crisis. Once one of the more prosperous nations in Latin America, the economy is now in shambles and the presidency is in dispute. Despite sanctions from the United States and mounting international pressure for regime change, President Nicolas Maduro has remained in power, in part due to the support of Venezuela's international allies. Enter Russia. Russia and Venezuela have come together in opposition to United States influence in Latin America. Hugo Chavez, Maduro's predecessor, capitalized on what Russia needed most from Latin America, acknowledgement of Russia as a great power. Venezuela's political solidarity with Moscow helped Putin shore up domestic support, and Venezuela gained a strong ally that could deliver financial and political aid. The beginning of the 2000s seemed to represent real progress for Russian businesses in Venezuela, but this commercial boom was short-lived. As Venezuela's economy began to collapse and Maduro came to power, most Russian companies left the country due to lost profits and supply chain instability. Moscow's priority eventually shifted from taking advantage of economic opportunities in Venezuela to gaining political benefits. In 2019, President Maduro confronted a political challenge as opposition politician Juan Guaido alleged electoral fraud and laid claim to the presidency, a move backed by over 50 countries. Russia, however, opposed Guaido's claim, choosing to back Maduro instead. Russia provided crucial support during this period, supplying military specialists, blocking US-backed resolutions in the UN Security Council, and temporarily providing Russian oil giant Rosneft's assistance as a lifeline to the sanctioned Venezuelan oil industry. Despite the turmoil, Russia continues to be an important source of arms, grain, medical equipment, and COVID-19 vaccines for Venezuela. While Russian support has been a lifeline for Maduro, for the Kremlin, the primary value of Venezuela is its geographical proximity to the United States. Putin aims to extend Russia's international reach, strengthening relationships with countries further away and stirring up anti-American sentiment. Russia is trying to build a new multipolar world order to challenge the existing US-led liberal world order, and its involvement in Venezuela is a key part of that plan. Even though sustained investment in Venezuela is hugely expensive, Russia seems ready to bear that cost, given that it diminishes U.S. influence in the region. Maduro continues to provide Russia with a strategic opportunity to engage politically and economically in Latin America. With Russia's continued support, Maduro's grasp on Venezuela remains strong. And both Russia and Venezuela remain committed to challenging U.S. influence in Latin America and beyond.